All right, so here is the all-time great, the UFC Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Of course, she took part in the first women's fight in UFC history back in UFC 157. Went on to fame and fortune, her legacy as well established as any woman in the game. I met Ronda Rousey back at the Olympics in 2008 as a young girl became a Olympic bronze medalist. That was unheard of for someone to do that. And she took that star power and that ability to grapple and applied it right to a mixed martial arts career where she not only captured the UFC title, but also defended it on a number of occasions with her patented arm bar. Every time Ronda fought, people tuned in, they loved it, it was always exciting. And some wondered if she would ever make this walk again. Well, here is Ronda Rousey back in this arena, and if her pre-fight talk is any indication, she's got a point to prove here tonight. So here's the two division champion, Amanda the Lioness Nunez. There have been so many seminal moments in her career. She's just getting going, but hard to do better than that 51 second knockout of Chris Cyborg back at UFC 232. It was absolutely amazing to watch Amanda Nunez just wash out Chris Cyborg, the most dominant female fighter we had ever seen. But when you look back, turn the page a little bit to some of the wins that she has. Knocking out Ronda Rousey in the first round, brutalizing Misha Tate, beating Valentina Shevchenko twice. It's just a laundry list of some of the biggest names that the UFC has ever seen, and Amanda Nunes has dispatched those names. It is as good a legacy as the women's MMA game has had, or, or maybe will ever have, and Amanda Nunes will try to add to it no matter what. Amanda Nunes, set to fight, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Inside leg kick landed there by Nunes. Wow, back and forth we go. These women are absolute warriors. This is hers high, and she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh, hammer fist here by Ronda Rousey. Nice transition. She's stepping over the mount here. 
She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Rousey. While her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end, the ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Well, Rousey's trying for a submission here. What a tight arm bar. Well, looked pretty tight, but she gives up on the submission now. She had it tight. She had it very tight, but she could feel it slipping. So she recognized, maybe I should stay in the dominant position, opposed to ending up in a bad position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Rousey. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Look at that, going into the arm bar. Oh, it's getting tight. Oh, that looks tight and painful. She is going to rip her arm off if she doesn't tap. And somehow, some way, she gets up. What a beautiful job pushing the leg over your head, freeing your head, defending the arm bar submission. Beautiful. Oh, Unbelievable. Stop. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Well, in the clinch, but she's staying active. Beautiful punch to the head there. Now the two separate from the clinch. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. What a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. Strong punch there by Nunes. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback. Oh, she's in a world of trouble now. Oh, this could do it. Just over three minutes now to go. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. How about these two going at it? After that strike, beautiful connection by her there. Beautiful connection, lands, opens up a cut. Let's see if she starts to target that now as we go forward. Oh, big elbow. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, my goodness! Straight right hand, but she misses. Oh, I thought she was going to get tagged there. Instead, slips her head off the center line. Man, those boxing shots paying dividends for her tonight. I mean, the very last moment, she just makes a slight movement, and her opponent misses and finds herself in really bad position. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to... She's a huge connection by her there. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast out. You take the ball. The night's over. To the feet now. Oh! Well, 
Well, she felt like the uppercut was going to be there. It has absolutely... Oh, she is in a world of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Feels like the beginning of the end. She only has 60 seconds here to recover. We'll see if her corner physically and mentally can keep her in this fight. What a seminal moment there at the end of the round. Caution, flammable. That horn signifies the end of the round. And quite frankly, after that knockdown with the head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body. But the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Third round of this championship. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. That takedown was kind of beautiful. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. In the clinch here, but she's still able to land a huge punch to the head. Another punch to the head. Two minutes have gone by. You have to fight back. Rousey's in half court. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which... She... All right, she's going for the arm bar here. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, how about that? She gives up on the submission now. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, as and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. She is so dominant from the top position. Oh, big shots raining down. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hip. Create some space, shrimp off to the side, re-slide. Oh, she made that one count. Well, seemingly, even when she gets her hands up, a lot of these strikes are getting through and looks like some swelling on her head area now. I mean, swelling on her head. You know, she's getting beat up. Make no mistake about it, she's taking far too many of these shots. What she needs to do is get active in her defense. Make sure that she doesn't get hit with too many shots clean. Because while it may not be bad yet, it's only going to get worse. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the hey, championship stop. rounds. How's the vision? See? Okay, listen. The eye's looking pretty bad here. Well, I'm not sure if the swelling is just cosmetic. She might be severely injured. Let's look back at some replays from that round. Well, when you take shots that clean, you run the risk of being injured and injured badly. She was not good defensively. And ultimately, she's the one that's paying for it. She has got to change something if she wants to stay in this fight. You ready? You ready? 
Good. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, another one. All right, well, she's landed those hooks at a high clip here tonight. Actually, some fans are starting to call her Mrs. Lineker. I think it's a pretty good nickname. Oh, it's a great nickname because they fight in the same style. She's very heavy-footed because she wants to get everything into that left hook, right hook, body hook, head hook. No matter where, she is just throwing those big digging punches all over her opponent's body. Hands high, hands high. Well, let's see if she goes back to the hook again. Obviously, there will be a setup. She'll work off of the jab and go back to trying to punctuate the combination with the hook. Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. Armbar. Oh, she got that locked in quickly. It's tight. Tremendous escape by her there. Beautiful submission defense on display by this young lady. Back and forth we go. One of the better fights of the year, unless, of course, you like defense. A lot of damage being doled out on both sides. A lot of damage being doled out. Both of these women are doing a great job of standing on a corner, standing in a phone booth, and just beating each other up. It's going to come down to the heart to determine who wins this fight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got a couple leaks on aisle five. These <laughs> women are donating blood tonight, and the fans are the beneficiaries. What a fight. Yeah, what a fight between these two. They spoke since the fight was announced about how good it was going to be. I never could have... Oh, she's oh. got to keep pressing if she wants to finish the fight. Oh, oh big God. round strikes continue to land. Oh, it's over. So how about this result tonight? She told us in the fighter meeting, I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda Lioness of the Ring. Nunes! All right, so Amanda Nunes getting it done by TKO here tonight. There was a lot of steam on her opponent, but once again, Nunes showing you there are levels to this game. Levels to the game. And once she got her hurt, she knew exactly how to finish the fight. Once again, Amanda Nunes proves why she is the gold standard in female fighting.